Okay, now that we've removed the liquid, most of the liquid from our squash, you want to add in three chopped bell peppers, two banana peppers, two jalapeno peppers, and a medium-sized onion. And I chopped all these in a chopper. Next is three-fourths of a cup of honey. This is a substitution for sugar. You can also put sugar in it if you, if you want. Next is one teaspoon of turmeric and two teaspoons of mustard seed. Also, if you have celery seed on hand, you can also add that. You would add two teaspoons of celery seed. I'm out, so I'm going to omit that. And the last ingredient we'll add is going to be our apple cider vinegar, and we're going to add two and a half cups. They're in the water bath canner. They're, I can only get eight in there. We got the rack in there to keep them off the bottom. But we're just sterilizing the jars right now, so we're, they're still not started. We're just heating them up still. Once they come to a roaring boil, then we'll let them sit in there for 10 minutes. Then we'll pull them out and we'll be ready to put the cooked mixture in and go from there. All right, they processed in their 10 minutes. So Trying to empty the water out without getting burned. Maybe a better way to do it, but that's the way I do it. Now we get the jars out, we will get the flats and rings and then we'll be ready to go in and put the mixture in. Alright, <clears throat> here we are filling them up and leaving approximately an inch of head space. I just keep it down in the middle, middle of the neck. I don't know. How I, I think it's best not to overfill them. You can take a knife and you run it around in here in case there's any air bubbles down in there. We always just do that just a little. I don't know, I've done it without doing it. Everything you read and say, the books from wherever ago always say to do it, but I don't know. One little case there's any food on the rim, one little wipe, and the tot, of course. Snug it up. There you go. We'll grab another one. We'll kind of speed through the process because you want to get back in the water. And you don't want your jars cooling down either. Stuff smells good. We gotta let it get boiling better before we start a 15 minute time. That's just, and also you gotta have at least an inch of water above your jars. So I tested this way, pretty sure I got plenty. You can come in here and bring a finger there. So yeah, we got two inches probably. We got plenty.
Let's start the timer when it gets up to the bowl. Alrighty, here we are. We can officially start our timer now. We have got a water bath boil. Right there. It gets up there. That's what I call a loblolly. It gets up right there going blah 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 blah. That's that's what you need right there. We're gonna let that go for 10 minutes. Cover with the lid. Okay, here we go. We waited the after turn it off and it sit for five minutes. And I always err on the lengthy side, like it says process for 15 minutes. I probably process for 16 minutes. It's rested for probably six minutes. But you know, just on safety sakes, I don't want any keep the sterilization and everything. And also, the most important thing of these is probably adding the vinegar, the most important ingredient because you squash is a low acid fruit vegetable so it you have to add that the vinegar for acid so you can safely can it so here we go any further ado dom 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 we have hopefully eight pints of squash relish did you hear that I don't know if y'all hear it on the camera, but we already had that one's already pinged. So I pulled it out. And I think all of these are. I'm gonna quit talking. everybody this is what we got we got eight pints of salsa and a little bit left over for dinner and eh, maybe two dinners who knows but anyway like I said the most important thing with this is the adding the vinegar because low acid foods you got to add the vinegar and I figured did the math and it's roughly two and a quarter ounces per pint because there was so I don't know it's but I don't know that's just the way I do it there's no way and there is an exact science to it, but I don't know it. Uh, if you know exactly how much vinegar needs to go per pint, can you let us know? But anyway, it's good with just anything. It's just like a hot dog relish to me. You eat it with beans, hot dogs, just all kinds of things. It's really good. But if you like the video, just please always like and subscribe. Click the bell icon so you get notifications because we're about to be making our salsa very soon. Hopefully, maybe it's gonna hit just perfect, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, like us on Facebook as well at Our Green Acres, and thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all again.